Hey guys, and welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Guntis, and in today's video, I want to talk about the latest generation Bitmain ASIC miner on my S21, and I hope you can join in comments down below. I just want to talk about about my experience about this miner. I've been using it for last month, testing on on different um, uh, firmwares. Also. What kind of power users did I get? The profitability, of course, the Bitcoin halving and so on. So this miner was released back in 2023. I was also invited to the Bitmain event in Hong Kong. Um, I believe it was 22nd of the uh, September, the launch event was there. Of course, everything was nice and uh, fancy uh, as Bitmain is the leading ASIC mining, mining market manufacturer in the market. Uh, which actually do manufacture these devices. So in the launch party, it was advertised as 200 terahash at 17.5 joules per terahash or 17 and a half watts per terahash. Uh, this is for the air-cooled version. They also have a hydro version, which is 335 uh, terahash, I believe, at 16, so 16.5 joules per terahash. I believe it's 16. We got our miner for testing in our warehouse start of the January, so I've been testing it for one month and my own experience was, I'm not sure, comment down below guys if you have also this miner, so what's, what's your experience? My own experience was I never was able to reach that uh, performance, it actually was advertised uh, at 17.5 joules per terahash at 200 terahash. I was possible to reach a little bit better you know, efficiency at a lower hash rate in the low, low power mode, which I approximately got was 16.2 joules per terahash, which is, you know, it's amazing. But there's a big thing uh, that you are paying, you know, basically per terahash, that miner seems to be much cheaper. You know, at 200 terahash, you're probably paying less per terahash than, than a, a next big competitor, Watts Miner M60S. But when you're reducing the performance, you're only getting then that kind of same efficiency as the Watts Miner M60S. At least this, this is from my own experience. I'm not sure, maybe you're getting different results. You know, you know, sometimes not every device, you know, the chip quality is the same. So my best performance, what I got on the 200 terahash miner was uh, 3,900 watts at a 200 terahash. This was the absolute best. I know that Bitmain website does state that the lower the ambient temperature, the better performance will be on this miner. I'm not really sure if this is true because, you know, in Ireland it's not usually very cold, but this winter is quite cold. All January was about from zero to 10 degrees Celsius. And the ambient temperature in, in my warehouse is exactly about the same as outside, maybe a couple degrees more. So. On average, I was testing at five degrees Celsius, but that didn't, you know, increase my efficiency on this miner. And of course, the most important thing is the mining profitability. How much this miner makes? Um, you know, as this is an efficient miner, you know, Bitcoin mining, I believe, Bitcoin mining has been the safest investment in ASIC miners. You know, the, the lately the ASIC miners, which newer generations comes out, they are not that much more efficient than the previous generation miners. For example, S19K Pro is still about efficient, about 21 joules, 22 joules per terahash, and the, the price per it, you know, it's, it's a lot less, you know, it's cheaper. So if you have a cheaper price um, electricity, maybe it makes more sense to faster ROI with S19K Pro than a on the latest generation Unminer S21. And of course the profitability, currently this miner generates about 500 US dollars a month. Um, the, of course there is about, you know, depending on where you live, you know, the electric price could be someplace very expensive. Some places, you know, this miner might not even cover your power costs, but I believe if you're doing a large scale, you know, good electricity price is anywhere from eight to 10 cents per kilowatt. That way you definitely, you could, you might, you know, pay back your equipment, what you have in, invested the money in for. The best part of the, you know, the profitability, that's, you can call it as a passive income if your uh, energy prices are decent. Of course, there's the risks involved. Mining is a great idea to generate, uh, you know, extra passive income uh, for your financial freedom. Um, this is what, you know, I'm more supporter of a GPU mining because it's, you know, lower entry point and you know it's for everyone you know you can access it with the hardware 
uh, which is ac accessible for everyone. And uh, you know, I'm more for the GPU mining and you know, have been mining Ethereum since 2016. I, I've got it that, that there is no more Ethereum mining. Um, you know, the profitability since then has dripped, but I believe that it's coming back, you know, not as maybe big market cap coins, because ASIC miner has got more industrialized now. Um, look at the Caspa coin, you know, I believe the market cap was only 200 million when the Caspa coin ASIC miner was created. And for many other coins is the same, uh, the same thing. So, uh, you know, with the GPU mining, you really have to now gamble, you know, which a coin to mine, which you know, good project potentially could increase in the price in the future. Where could you make those big, uh, big gains, <laughs> like we like to call it? Yeah, and also the Bitcoin price, um, it has done amazing in the last year. Uh, it has you know went from 15,000, almost 15,000, up to 45, you know, 48, you know, 300 percent in one year, which is you know crazy good. The Bitcoin halving will affect the mining. Mining reward significantly as the block reward is getting re reduced on half every four years. So this is what you have to think about before you get to getting into the miner. This, that's another risk. What could affect Bitcoin mining for a few couple months? I believe so, because usually what happens uh, when the inflation is you know reduced, if even the demand for Bitcoin stays the same, the price you know, potentially should, should go up if the demand stays the same. Um, if even the, the demand reduces, the price should, will be staying, you know, on, on, on the place. But for example, if you're getting now about 15 US dollars per day mining Bitcoin, and on Bitcoin halving, the price is the same, about 40 to 42,000 US dollars, you will only be making seven and a half uh, US dollars per, uh, for, for, the, for the miner. And this is affecting your mining rewards significantly because your, your electricity bills might be larger than you're actually getting rewards. So a couple of more things I want to point out before we wrap up. So you will need also, this miner comes with a, a P13 to C20 PDU cable. So you cannot connect anymore to your normal wall socket nor you know, in your garage, um, but you will need a C20 PDU socket for this miner because you know, it, it does use a lot of power. Um, so the million dollar question, is the Unminer S21 a good purchase? Of course, it is the latest miner built on the latest technologies. It's great for Bitcoin mining, but my preference is, as stated before, the uh, Watts Miner M60S, just because of the better quality of the miner. The Unminer S21 seems like a you know, cheaper price per terahash, but when you need to reduce that performance a little bit down to increase the same efficiency on the miner as the Watts Miner M60S, you'll be paying about the same price as for Watts Miner M60S. Also, I've seen that the Unminer S21 already has some issues with the fans, uh, Red Panda Mining and Wascoin, both of them had the same issue. Uh, luckily, I didn't have this issue with the fans, where fans stop working after a few days. And if you don't have a sp spare fan in the stock, you might be losing a time, you know, for buying additional fan. Of course, you're not going to send for a warranty whole miner to replace the fan. So additional cost to buy a fan also, and reducing time, because the miner won't mine if the fan is not working. Also, we do have another there giveaway. We partnered up with a hobbyist miner. Click link, uh, check the links down below and try your luck. We are giving out thousand US dollars in crypto. So check out the giveaway. Otherwise guys, remember, mine hardcore or don't mine at all.